I am in England. I've been here for nearly three weeks and it's all going well. My first week I was up in Edinburgh at the Fringe, uh, watching many fantastic shows and uh, spending time with my sister and her family. So that was great. And then I've been down with my mum for a week and I've found somewhere to live. So I've moved already uh, to share with uh, a friend of mine who I did a show with like 10 or 11 years ago, Kirsty Malpass. She lives luckily down um, near mum, so I'll be able to um, visit mum a lot, so that's great. Um, and it's great, it's just lovely to be able to unpack and uh, Kirsty's in a fabulous play at the moment at the Old Vic, which I went to see the other day because she was on for her understudy and she blew me away, she was fabulous. Um, what was it called, something, girl for old country, oh no, oh, something about the North Country, oh that's awful. Um, I will let you know in the next uh, video. Um, then last night I randomly got a last minute ticket to see Follies, it was the second preview of Follies at the National and uh, because my old lodger Adrian Grove was in it and um, also a wonderful Janie D who I have worked with in the past who was phenomenal playing Phyllis and um, uh, um, other people, oh god, um, mine's gone blank, oh Liz Eisen and who else oh my god embarrassing gone blank anyway i'll remember in a minute um so i uh went into the bar afterwards in the national in there's a green room bar and uh who should walk in stephen sondheim so i got the unbelievable pleasure of meeting him at long last so that was fabulous um he looked great and I told him that I'd recently been to the Hollywood Bowl and seen a whole celebration evening of his work which was brilliant and um, he said apparently that's going out on tour all over the place so um, so that's cool so anyway thrilled I saw him oh and of course the lovely lovely Bill Dima he choreographed it and so I got to see him which was great I did a show with him quite a few years ago um, and I was walking around London actually looking for a venue for um, a reunion. I'm trying to organize a White Lodge Royal Ballet School reunion. It's coming up to, I cannot believe it, 30 years since we left. And some people I haven't seen since then. So because I was head girl, I took it upon myself to um, organize a reunion, see if I could get people together. Of course, a lot of people are living out in Australia and France and Germany and all sorts. So it's going to be difficult because it's kind of short notice. So we're going to try and do another one later on next year or something. But in the meantime, I uh, popped into some venues just to have a look, see if I could find somewhere for a nice high tea and um, went to the Criterion in Piccadilly Circus. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. So I think I'm going to make it there. And then, um, yeah, saw another place, Tiger Tiger, which is around the corner that I thought if we wanted to go on afterwards, we could go there, which is lots of fun. It's got like separate booths and separate areas um, for having a little uh, beverage, as you do. Um, so that's all coming together. So that's exciting. And randomly, so during the day yesterday, I was just sending some messages to some other friends um, and contacts of mine that just let them know that I'm back and, um, and uh, would love to see people. And would you believe it, one of the guys I sent a message to yesterday at 4.30, I walk into this bar last night, there he is, Simon Green. Blew me away and he was so thrilled and I was so thrilled to see him. So that was amazing, it was a wonderful, wonderful night. Um, I love it when things just sort of fall into place and I just got like a last minute one-off ticket for 25 pounds, it's amazing. And, um, and now I'm on my way up to Kilworth House to see, also I got the last ticket to see Top Hat that um, the wonderful Stephen Meir has directed and choreographed. And um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing that. And then I'm going up to my sisters to dog sit and see them for the weekend. So all is good, um, probably far too much information. You are obviously all very bored and have probably turned this off. But anyway, that is it for now. I want to um, let you know some of the things that I've discovered only in the last couple of weeks um, of similarity, well, no, not similarities, pros and cons of living here and living in America. Some of the things that are driving me insane, 
some of the things that I'm like, oh, that's better here. So anyway, I shall do that on another vlog. Excuse me, a little burp. Um, anyway, um, that's it for now. More soon. Bye.